YouTube, I'm back with another video, man. And honestly, I have so much going for with my channel, man. I got like six or seven series I want to come out with, like just constant uploads, something y'all can look forward to. Not just random uploads, but something y'all can look forward to, right? So making that James Harden build has gave me this idea that I'm going to do dynamic ratings, which means, for example, LeBron James. I'm going to make a LeBron James build today but that build can change. So at the very end, we're gonna figure out, you know, as a channel, as a group, which was the best build and how to combine that with that to make the best LeBron build possible at the end of the NBA season when he's all said and done, when he's done playing. And I'm gonna do this with a lot of players, Jamal Murray, uh, Siakam, people like that. Like we can make those builds in this game, which is what I like, you know, next gen you could, you can make a LeBron build. You know, current gen, you can't make a LeBron build. It's literally almost impossible to make a legit LeBron James build. So that's a good thing that 2K has given us the ability, you know, to basically upgrade anything we want to. It still comes with some limitations, but we could basically upgrade anything we want to. So I have that coming out and I have a bunch of more series coming out, man. It's gonna be crazy. Like I'm doing it all from career sims to uh like league sims and, and you know online my league i'm doing it all man we're gonna really explore 2k in my channel if i'm gonna be a 2k channel i'm gonna do it all like i'm not just about to make build videos i'm doing everything so i still got the normal vi build videos if they're if, you know if the game gets updated or something like that and they come out with a new build or something i have that and now i'm gonna have dynamic rating builds so i will make a new build so say i make this build now which i am gonna make lebron's build now I'm gonna go based on his last 10 games played. 10 games from now, I'm gonna update my LeBron James build. See if anything has changed. If I need to take some down and add stuff here, I will do that. That's what dynamic ratings are, they change. So that's what we're doing on this channel, man. Dynamic ratings, builds. And yeah, I think this is gonna be crazy. Like it's gonna give y'all insight of my basketball knowledge, what I think, you know, how 2K should approach people's ratings and stuff like that and just it changes the game and something new i've never seen anybody do this and i want to be different so yeah man i hope y'all enjoyed this video uh, i'm about to do lebron james uh the title may be a little bit different not sure where i'm gonna name it yet but this is lebron james built as of now as of 2020 2021 season this is his current build and i'm gonna make it i'm looking here and lebron james is surprisingly shooting really well uh from the three-point line he's gotten a few double doubles uh 26 12 uh 22, 13, this is a triple double right here, 26, 11 and 10, uh, 27 and 12, you know, 62%, 44%, 16%, 0%, 57%, 25, 50, 42, 33, and 42 of his last two games. I'm gonna come up with an average for that to get his percent, but these are my three point thresholds. So what I came up with is 75 to 80 rating would be, you know, someone shooting 30 to 35 percent from the three uh 80 to 90 would be anybody shooting 36 to 45 percent from the three and a 90 above is anyone shooting 46 percent or above i feel like that's fair because right now there's a lot of people shooting above 46 percent and a lot of people are probably going to do when i finally do curry they're going to say oh well curry is you know he's only shooting 36 percent okay well he can have you know an 83 three-pointer or 82 three-pointer but that can always change like i, I could see him uh his ratings going up but honestly he's not shooting really well from the three-point line when you talk about his career if you're talking about his career he'll be in the high 80s range if we use my shooting threshold he'll be at the high 80 like 88 89 three-pointer if he's just shooting his career average so it's like yeah he's shooting below his career average Stephen curry's three-point career average is way higher than what he's shooting right now yeah his his career average is 43 percent so that would be an 88, 89 three-pointer. Right now he's shooting 36% from the three-point line. It's horrible. So he's not shooting that well from the three-point line. Shooting an all-time low. Like this is the lowest he's ever shot other than last year. But you know he got injured, so I wouldn't even count that year ever in his career in the NBA. So yeah, like it's just it is what it is. So we got LeBron. He's six eight, six nine. Go six eight. I don't even think you can make a six nine viable small forward. So I'll go six eight. A right hand number 23 obviously 
They say, they say he's 250. Do you really want to go 250? I don't think we want to go 250, but honestly, we can because I don't think the speed speed really doesn't change much. I mean, it's cool. 6'8", 250 would still be pretty fast, I think. 6'8", with a 79 speed is pretty fast. Now, let me look up his wingspan because I did not know. 7 foot. I, apparently, I do. So, that's perfect. 6'8", 250, 7 foot. We know he's not burly, not slight. I'm going to say LeBron James is more compact on this, you know, game compared to his real life uh, body. I think he's compact when you look at it on the game. So right now, LeBron James is shooting really well from the field. So he's efficient right now. We're talking about, you know, multiple games where he's shooting over 50%, 55% from the field. So he's very efficient. I'm going to go to his advanced stats. I can see his dunks. Is uh all that I can see everything off rip. We want to max passing arcs. He does he turns over the ball uh a decent, but he passes a lot. You know, he gets a lot of assists. So I'll go like a 90 passing accuracy. We know we're gonna max out his ball handle. We know we're gonna max out his speed with ball. So we know LeBron James is an all-time playmaker. He's gonna, you know, all-time great playmaker. He's gonna be assisting a lot, he's gonna be running the offense a lot. And I, that's key to this build for sure so next it's three point percentage i'm gonna find my average 37.4 percent from the three-point lines where lebron james is shooting i don't that's not a career high but that's pretty good to say he's 36 years old and been in the league for so long so looking at 37.4 percent is what we got 37.4% will put him in the 80 to 90 threshold. So this LeBron James build can get between the 80 and the 93 pointer. So if you're talking about 37%, we're looking at an 80, about an 83 three pointer. 83, 82, 84 three pointer in that area, right? He's efficient. So we're going to up his mid range, just even his mid range with his three point shooting because he is efficient. So we'll up that. We know he's a slasher. Uh, I'm going to pull up his dunks. They just showed me how many uh, dunks he also has a game. All right, so they're showing me dunks per season. I should be able to. Oh, this is easy. So he's dunked the ball 11 times this year. So 11 dunks So from zero feet to three feet from the basket. He's the most efficient. So that's a lot of slashing. That's a lot of layups. It's a lot of, you know, and one stuff like that from three to 10 feet, which is his mid range. It's similar to his three point. So I'm just going to leave those the same. So if he's shooting, if there's a drastic difference, like if he's not really shooting a lot of, you know, mid ranges, if he's, you no know, only shooting threes, like a, just say Kyle Corver or somebody like that, I'm going to, you know, drop the mid range and stuff like that. But his mid range. Uh, is pretty similar to his three pointer when it comes on percentage. The reason why LeBron James field goal is so high is because his zero to three feet percentage. So we talking about it's seventy two percent from zero to three feet to the, from the basket. So yeah, that's why his field goal percentage is so high. I can see you know like basically everything. Uh, eleven dunks. So eleven dunks in how many games? 11 dunks in 13 games. So he's had 11 dunks in 13 games. That's about that's 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 dunks a game. So he's not really even dunking the ball once a game, right? So since he's not dunking the ball as much, I'm not going to just go crazy with the driver dunk. I'm going to leave it at just say an 85. And then we know he does a lot of layups. So we want to up that and then we're going to have to up his close shot. So I'm just going to leave that all even 86, 86, 86. So I'll go 86 close shot, 86 driving layup. 86 um diamond dunk so lebron defensively we know he's a block demon he's not a type he's not, he's not getting a lot of steals so he's not you know going crazy with the steals he's a he's block shots that's his defense block shots on ball defense rebound the ball so for defense oh and we gotta max out the speed obviously for defense and this may, another thing, a lot of these builds may come up as vertical, you know, LeBron's jumped up a jump. 
A lot of these bills may come at the sacrifice of acceleration and stamina. Cause you gotta remember at the end, we're gonna figure out a way like how to actually make this build, you know, good. And for strength, I'll just go 70. Uh, yeah, so we know his front defense is good. We can up that. I'll say don't max out. Let's go 80. Let's go 80 perimeter defense for him. I told you, like I said, he's a block demon. I think his block deserves to be enough to get like Intimidator. Uh, Nothing too crazy. Because if he can get Intimidator, that means he can get Word Protector and Chase Down. But his rebound is max. I mean, the man is, you know, triple double machine. He's a walking triple double. So, no, he can rebound the ball at a very high rate. So, 6'8, small forward. He can rebound slash. Free throws. Now, this is the biggest thing with LeBron. Free throws. I'm going to touch the acceleration and stamina last because th these builds will come at the sacrifice of that until the very end. At the very end, you know, we're going to figure out a way to mess with that to make it where we can actually have acceleration and stamina because that's going to be our final build. So this build is obviously going to change throughout the year. Hopefully, hopefully LeBron plays better, gets his shooting up even more and kind of limits his turnovers. His turnovers aren't crazy, but they're... His pa he passes the ball so much that it's worth, you know, that's why his passing accuracy is at max, but it's worth having a high passing accuracy for him because we know he has a high pass passing accuracy. You know, like, so that, that's obviously worth it. So, free throws. This is big. This is the big thing about LeBron, his free throws. So, currently, he's shooting 70% on the free throw line, and everybody says he needs to shoot between 75 and 80% from the free throw line that would up his you know his points totals right now he's making about four for every 5.7 free throws he's making i said that's pretty good so basically if he shoots six free throws he's on he's gonna miss two he's gonna make four that's pretty good that's not the highest in his career uh 69 percent is unacceptable 66 percent is unacceptable so if those are unacceptable 70 is just not good enough Right now, he would be shooting the fourth or the fifth worst in his career uh, from the free throw line. So I'm not going to have a high free throw. I'm probably going to match the free throw with the number. All right. So if he has a 70 percent, it's going to be a 70 free throw. If the dude is shooting 85 percent, he's going to have 85 free throw. But right now, 70 free throw, this looks about right. I mean, I don't know how you can ask for it with the build of LeBron James. And we're talking about 2K. Not a lot of shooting badges. Enough. Oh, post control. That's another thing I want to up. I want to up his post control and be able to get standard dunks, obviously. All you need is a 40 for that. You know, he's not standing contact dunk people. So, LeBron James. This is pretty good. A lot of finishing badges. Enough finishing badges. I mean, Lob City. Heat seeker, posterizer, you can get all that with 13. Enough shooting badges, he can get deep threes, catch and shoot. Uh, high zone or all that, that's enough. Uh, for playmaking, you know, 16 is enough. Dimer, floor general, quick first step. Uh, unpluckable, like 13, that's enough. LeBron's, mo most of his badges probably just be clamps. Rim protector, chase down, rebound chaser, and intimidator and that's that's really it so that's enough now i'll say just leave this here uh don't touch acceleration don't touch stamina i mean those don't really matter apparently anyway and yeah i just put the rest i guess towards this finishing and i give him 14. this is a good start for lebron i think this is a good start for lebron obviously this is going to change right so later on his defense may go down, his shooting may go up, his playmaking go, may go down, his slashing may go down. He may turn into a jump shooter because that's what LeBron does. At some point in the season, he's going to turn to a dude that only shoots the ball and passes. He's not going to go to the goal. He's not going to do anything. He's only going to shoot the ball and pass. I don't see how you can make a more well-rounded LeBron James build than this for his per his last 10 games. This isn't his career now. This isn't career LeBron James. This is over his last 10 games game so this will change uh personally i would say finishing moves and team ratings boost team takeover team badge boost i say team ratings boost i think lebron james makes his teammates better on the court when he's on the court so i mean i don't see how you could have a more complete lebron james built 
his last 10 games through level score that means he can score at all three levels of the floor that's what lebron can do obviously his bullet has playmaking and obviously i want to show you the badges that he would have as of now so i'm gonna test the bill for y'all and show y'all those badges i will put on this lebron james build per his last 10 games this is something new it's something you've never seen before making a build based on a player's last 10 games that can change throughout the year and then once the year is over with once we're in the playoffs i will you know complete season build basically what he's done the 2020 2021 lebron james build basically is what we're gonna make so like i said you have host riser you have Bob city if i can find it uh eat seeker which i heard gold works the same as hall of fame put some fearless in there uh slithery obviously and then really that's it personally anything else i could just add to like this i don't think lebron james is kyrie irving acrobatic in the paint and stuff if that's even a word. acrobatic is that even a word you want to give him d3s because he be pulling that thing you can how's on hunter bronze green machine honestly i mean that's really all lebron james needs volume shooter for sure i mean he's efficient he's efficient but i mean the dude's shooting over 20 shots a game basically on average he's basically shooting 18 to 20 times a game like that. i mean just, that's volume shooter range like you gotta give him volume shooter at least bronze at least bronze if you want to up the green machine that's cool if you want to throw him catch and shoot and then maybe up this or up your catch and shoot. it's up to you but he's definitely needs volume shooter he's a volume shooter 20 almost 20 a game that's you know volume shooter so for the playmaking obviously handles for days and timer gold or general gold uh you throw a pluckable bronze fell out bronze quick first step gold and then like needle threader bronze you can up your unpluckable if you would like but gold floor general gold dimer gold quick first step because that's the best we can do because we're all small form with 6a i don't think small form. people trying to make small form because they don't even get quick first step all the thing like it's the dumbest thing i've ever seen and handles for days obviously he has the ball dribbles the whole shot clock out and either shoots the ball becomes a jump shooter or just goes to the goal gets fouled so like i said i will put clamps on lebron obviously it's lebron james like why would you not intimidator chase down rebound chaser i don't know if i would go hall of fame i mean 12 rebounds 13 rebounds 11 rebounds nine rebounds nine rebounds i don't think, that's not hollow i mean hall of fame rebound chase you gotta be swallowing up rebounds literally swallowing up rebounds and then for the last two i'll go run protector so chase down silver clamps gold intimidator gold rebound chaser silver i mean rebound chaser gold rim protector silver hall of fame rebound chase is gonna be somebody like andre Drummond back in detroit like you really gotta be swallowing up rebounds to get uh all the fame rebound chaser but man next gen we don't you don't need a lot of badges it's more based on attributes if your attributes are high enough you can do anything right so this lebron james build after you know a couple threes a couple buckets you get the green one though that you can green any shot you shoot so honestly i don't see how you can have you know a better lebron james build over his last 10 games that's how we're doing it this is a build based on lebron's previous performance i don't know how much simpler i can make it this isn't the best lebron this isn't lebron james throughout his entire career this isn't you know, a slashing two-way sharp shooting playmaking demon it's just not that it's over his last 10 games and this will change because he will play differently he will like i said lebron james is going to turn to a, a three-point shooter I, i've been watching the man for a long time at one point he's gonna be like you know what i'm just i'm gonna shooting up threes all day and that's what he's gonna do so yeah man that's really it for this video it may be a long video it may not be i still have to edit it and stuff like that so obviously i'm talking you know pre-edit but if you're new to the channel man make sure you subscribe if you're not new keep liking the videos keep showing up keep pulling up i appreciate all the support until next video man i'm out